Tail the tape is brought to you by Modelo. Rude for those with a fighting spirit. John Jones, 31. Tiago Mahesha Santos is 35. Jones, the taller man by two inches, but we will always highlight the reach when it comes to Johnny Bones. Eight and a half inches, his advantage tonight against Mahesha. All right, now for the main event introduction, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Presented by Modelo, sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission, Chairman Anthony Marnell Jr., Executive Director Bob Bennett. Our three judges scoring this contest at Austin outside are Mike Bell, Derek Cleary, and Junichiro Camijo. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. This championship bout is sponsored by Modelo, brewed for those with a fighting spirit. P3, the official protein snack of the UFC. At Metro by T-Mobile, catch all the action with Metro's knockout coverage and unlimited data. And now, for those in attendance and UFC fans watching around the world, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Light Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a striker holding a professional record, 21 wins, 6 losses. He stands 6 feet 2 inches tall, weighing in at 2 and 4 and 1 half pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, presenting the number 2 ranked light heavyweight contender in the world, the challenger, Tiago Mahata Santos! And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, a look see new fighting fighter. He holds a professional record, 24 wins, one loss, one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, by way of Endicott, New York, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, John Paul All right, gentlemen, we've been over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. Let's keep it clean. Touch gloves and let's do it. The light heavyweight championship is upon us here from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. John Jones putting his all-time great status on the line every time he competes his challenger tonight, the very capable Tiago Maheta Santos. You ready to fight? Ready. Do it. And we are underway. Tonight's main event fight clock is brought to you by Modelo. Brew for those with a fighting spirit. Maheta is in white out of the southpaw stance, as is John Jones wearing the black and gold befitting a champion. Oof. John opening up with those kicks. There's that front leg side kick to the thigh, that reach. Santos, yeah, he's attacked both legs early on here. Those are some very small calves. No offense to John. No Brown. offense. But with that frame, that's a smart strategy there for Santos to attack yes. the lower legs of John Jones. For sure. 
And Jones brought that up with us on Thursday. He was wise to it. He says a lot of people have tried to take out my skinny legs. None have been able to do so yet. That was a nasty leg kick by John. Yeah, he's doing a good job of coming back with his own. Fast and Furious presents Hobson Shaw starring Dwayne Johnson and Jason Statham in theaters August 2nd. Another nice inside leg kick from the head to about 90 seconds into this one. Very interesting so far. Tiago moving nicely. Yeah. Looks relaxed in there. Oh, boy. Oh, nice that was kick. nice. He's leaving himself open when he throws these kicks. He drops his hands. And John, believe me, is reading that. Johns catches the leg. Big tell. Oh, oh, nice job. The spinning elbow unable to land. And good job from Santos to stay on his feet. Another and calf again, kick. Chopping at that leg. Those are devastating. It's almost immediate, Joe. You feel them immediate. And John's got a good poker face, but those things will completely obliterate your ability to move. He just had a little bit of a hobble yeah, right there. Yeah, I saw that. He switched stances. Just assume when you see one of those land that it's deadly painful. Yeah, it hurt. You don't need much on it either. Just dig that shit right into that calf. It immediately starts working. Nice. Now Hector raises the guard, continues to move well. Santos is not just moving well, he's fighting smart. Nice, but uh, how the calf again. kick. Man. And like you said, John not even showing it on his face, but the little teeny steps, all it takes is a little hobble for your opponent to see in switching stances. Even if he doesn't see. Ooh, oh, whoa. the head to the left hand. Come on, John. We saw Daniel Cormier knock John, John Jones' mouthpiece out early on in one of their two fights. And time. Back on the way, less than two minutes here to go round one. Leg kicks have been a big part of the narrative here early on. Six have landed for Santos. Ooh, man. Ooh. That's one of the dangers. Oh! Oh! The dangers of that oblique kick, right, Joe? You, yes. if, if it slips off to the side, you're right immediately in punching range of your opponent. And you're in a weird stance. You're not in an effective stance to fire back. You have to adjust. Oh. See that? where everything is dangerous with Tiago. In these exchanges, that's where you can turn the lights out. And he knows it. And John knows it too. But he's not rushing it, right? He's being very patient. Yes. He's waiting for his opportunities. He's trying to make John come to him. Yes. Another and again. Kick. Santos doing a pretty good job closing that significant distance tonight. And the difference between the way he's approaching it and, say, someone like Anthony Smith. Anthony Smith fought a very good first round, but he fought it very technically. Tiago's fighting it technically, but when the exchanges come, he's Let throwing it go. bombs. Yeah. Throwing everything with force. He's going to look for that calf again if he stays yes. orthodox. Final 10 seconds of the round. And a big first round for Tiago oh. Santos. A late land there by Johnny Bones. Likely 1-0 Santos. Tonight's corner camp brought to you by Body Armor. Make the switch to Body Armor, the official sports drink of UFC. More natural, better sports drink. Grab one today at Speedway. And let's get some good breathing in. Here's some water for you. Okay. Well, that was an excellent round. You're setting a good pace. You're putting things together well. I just need you to cut them off a little more instead of just kind of following them, you know what I mean? Yeah. And he's going to... And you know what to do. Stay calm. I wouldn't mind seeing you get to the hips a few times on some uh, some nice takedowns there when you're ready. Don't force it. Get those long-range kicks, John Jones. When you back him up, there are no calf kicks, all right? If you back him up, there are no calf kicks, Winkle John said. Here's one. That one caught him with just the instep, but you see the impact. It's just a horrible place to get hit. 
And there's oh, another man. one. Solid. Solid kick. And there's another one behind the leg. So an encouraging start for the plus 375 underdog, Tiago Santos. We'll see if he can keep it going here in round two. And again, John resumes the orthodox stance, which should indicate that he's having some problems with those kicks. Oh, Tiago hurt himself. He hurt himself. Oh! Santos with a couple left hands forces oh, Jones to retreat. Now he's got to go for broke if he's hurt. Good body kick. He, might, he may have recovered. Sometimes it's just initial pain. And he's still throwing, you're right. He seems okay. Oh, that would be so disappointing, wouldn't it? Yes. You wonder if Jones might be thinking about grappling here. Early round two. Santos fainting a lot, absorbs that inside leg kick. It looks like Santos may have hurt his left leg when he threw that kick. We're looking at the replay, and it looked like he did not rotate on the ball of his foot, and he might have tweaked his knee. Yeah, his knee, his hip, his groin, his foot. I, yeah. Something happened that he didn't feel, but he seems to be moving better on it now. Right. It might have been a pre-existing injury as well. Sometimes when guys have meniscus tears, you can still fight. It just hurts when you move your knee in a, in a strange way. Well, he has certainly earned Jones's respect early on in this one. He certainly has. I mean, Jones is very aware that as he closes the distance, Tiago's looking to take his head off. And he's hit him enough times that Jones respects that power. Never on bold character since 1872. Oh, Ooh. goes high with the head kick there. Jones all over it, raises that right hand. This is an interesting game they're playing here. He did that again, yeah. and he seems like he his knee is tweaked. There's something going on with his left knee. Oh, nice jab. John's finding more of his distance here. Yep. Nice body kick from Santos. Jones backs up to avoid further damage. Oh, yeah. Oh. Santos, maybe a one-legged fighter here. Yeah. Yes. Jones seems to know it. He fell down there as he was getting kicked. He's having a hard time moving on that left leg. It might be severely compromised. It's hard to tell. We'll see if he chooses to throw it again or not. Now Jones attacks that right leg. Under two minutes here to go in round two. Nearly landed flush. I think I think Tiago's got to start going for it. Yeah, because Good if that leg is, yeah. it hurt as bad as it is. And his kicking game is such a big part of his style that... Well, you know, we've seen guys like Robert Whitaker fight five rounds on a compromised knee. I mean, he can move. He's moving all right. It's just he's got to be careful with it. Oh, Ooh, man, he's just missing Jones doing a great job slipping out of the way of these bombs. Oh. 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 He just doesn't care. No, he's a wild he's like, what, man. Got hurt this is what care. we talked about. This is what makes him exciting. Already putting up a much, much better fight than the John Jones' last two opponents, that's for sure, right? Not just that, looks calm. Like calm in right. the storm. Doesn't look like he's out of his element. Looks like he's setting things up and he expects to win. Like we've seen him in all of his fights. Well, right. That's that. That is the rub with Tiago Santos. Yes. Under a minute here to go. We've seen a couple left kicks thrown from Santos since that latest knee buckle. Significant strikes round by round. Advantage Santos in round one. Evenly matched here, at least unofficially in round two. And no more takedown attempts from John. Since that one, right? 
Ooh, okay. His leg seems fine. Gonna hurt tomorrow. Ooh, and again, Jones able to back up and avoid that left hand of Maheta. Tonight's corner cam is brought to you by Body Armor. Make the switch to Body Armor, the official sports drink of UFC. More natural, better sports drink. Grab one today at Speedway. You, you did the better than the Jordan. first one. Let's keep on. We're in the game. Very good job. Everything you've seen is everything you planned for. Let's breathe. Let's breathe. Yeah. I want you not stop in front of me. Keep on circling. Believe in your combinations. And there you can see that tweaking of the knee again. He threw the kick and buckled. You see his knee, you can see it pop out. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he might have a torn ACL. Oh. Here you see it again. I mean, it's in entirely possible that he has a torn ACL here. The way that knee gave out like that, that's often indicative of a torn ligament. But no one knows other than him. And he's not weighing on it. If you see, he's leaning on his right leg. Right. Round three is brought to you by P3, the official protein snack of the UFC. He's moving so well if that's yeah. a tear, but th that did not look good in that, in that slow-mo version of that. Me. I saw something move. Yeah, there. something moved, but you know, it doesn't necessarily mean there's a tear But he definitely looked like he was hurting But he's playing it off and he's moving fine Yeah to this point my head has been able to fight through it might have even won that second round Very well could have won that round Oh, nice. Jesus. I'm Telling you his kicks everything and he's being technical. It's not just wild and predictable. He's doing some sneaky stuff. I'd like to see him get back to those leg kicks. He was having some really good success yeah. with the first round. And he forced John to switch stances. Oh. Strong body kick. Right yeah. the elbow, though. Jones landing at a 50% clip, but not nearly oh, the output Joe. we have seen in fights past. Did you yeah. guys see that? He had yeah. another stumble. Yeah. He's having a, pro a problem with that knee for sure. But he's working through it. Moving pretty well, given the circumstances. Oh! Man, Jones has a chin. Didn't seem all that phased by any of those three strikes that landed. Oh, man! Sat him down. John's coming in hard here. He knows he's stunned. He's got to be careful. He's got to be careful, though. He might not be stunned. He might be wobbling because of the play. Big knee from Jones. And he gets right back to his feet. Promptly lands a knee of the body. Under three minutes here to go in round three. Jones starting to pick up the pace now midway through this one. Yeah, he's starting to open up, flying knees. Looking for those elbows. I'm surprised he hasn't tried some more. Get closing the distance, but I, I, that's a dangerous proposition with Thiago Santos in there. I wonder if John's corner recognized the fact that his knee is bad. It went, he hobbled on it again. Jones with authority now to that right leg of Santos, forces a brief stance switch, but he can't keep that left leg exposed. Well, he's been standing southpaw anyway. Look at that. Man. He's still throwing it. Still extremely dangerous. That's so insane that he's throwing that left leg as hard as he can. Gets back up. And he covers up well. Great job by Jones there defensively. You see a pretty nasty uh, cut on the hairline of Santos. Some John Jones elbows. Nice spinning back kick. And you see John just dig that heel right into that rib area.
Oh, Ooh. nice kick. Beautiful side kick to the thigh. John's starting to beat him up. Front oh. kick to the body. John's giving Santos a whole lot yeah. to think about here late round three. He's got to play with him a little bit. Right back to that lead leg goes Johnny Bones. One minute now to go in the round. Tiago's got to go back to attacking those legs. He really does. John's got a pretty significant wealth in the inside of his left thigh as well. Yeah, look at that. And yeah, and he just nailed it. it. There he goes. There he the goes. Cast. That's, I think, a giant key here. He's got to land those. He already is fighting from an orthodox stance. If he can attack that leg in the front, the left leg now. Look at that thigh, the inside thigh on the left leg. There it is again. That's yeah. a pretty big well. Yeah. Jones has not stepped back, and he's stalking him this whole time. Love those front kicks to the body, Ooh. too, John. So fast. His ability to fight through adversity. And Payne, second to none, just missed on the spinning elbow. Pretty big third round for the champion. Definitely his most dominant round so far. Let's take a look here. This is that elbow right on the temple, the side of the head that dropped Tiago Santos. That did stun him. That one got Absolutely. right through this flying knee. And John literally goes over his back. Looked like Santos might have a good position for a second. This big step and elbow right off the top of Tiago Santos' head is what opened him up there. Man, but crazy back and forth between these two guys. Very technical. Left fe leg is feeling it. I saw it. I saw it. Yeah. You very. You look very good. You Three keep shots up. and then high. Okay. Yeah. Low and high. Exactly. Low and high. Body. Low and high. Body. Body. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Whatever let's go. is wrong with Santos's knee, it doesn't seem like he's even brought it up. Right. Well, they certainly haven't iced it. Well, after tonight's main event, don't miss a recap of all the action from Vegas on the UFC 239 post show on ESPN Plus. I'll be there with Michael Bisping and Jail Sonnen. We'll break it all down right after the main event tonight on ESPN Plus. And you saw Don House, the cut man in the corner of John Jones, working the inside of that left leg a little bit. Championship rounds, my man. <laughs> you know, I was just thinking maybe they're just not translating it in the corner about his knee. Or maybe they're, like you said, Joe, is so pre-existing. They know. They know it's there. He's throwing it. I mean, maybe we're exaggerating the idea. Whoa. Oh, my goodness. He's going for it. Nice job defensively once again by Jones. That guy is so dangerous. And whether you considered Santos a live underdog or not, the style, his style is such that you knew he'd bring the fight. He has certainly done that. Leg kicks, slight edge in terms of the lands for Santos. Spinning back kick to the body by John. Amazing how close he came to land that. What a daunting task to prepare for, for both of these men, but to prepare for John Jones in particular. Yeah, how do you find someone to mimic that? Tiago's waiting on John, and he, he can't do that. And it, this may be because of his problem with movement. Oh. Yeah, yeah, see, there it is. He's having a real problem with that. He still throws it. Wild man. And it's like John Jones has that right hand glued to his face defensively. Every time you think maybe Santos might land, John's guard is up. Yep. Ooh, that was a nice check. Yep. 
Look at the welt on the inside of John's leg. I mean, it is massive. You can see it across the arms. Yeah, I think that was all for that. That one in particular started really badly in the first round, right away from that inside leg kick of Santos. Man, it's crazy that every now and then it'll just buckle, completely buckle on him, that left leg. Yep. Beautiful leg kick. Brief switch to Orthodox, now back to the southpaw stance for Santos. Coming up on two minutes here to go in round four. And that right leg now appears to be bothering Santos as well. Hard to blame him. Oh, it's getting kicked. Both legs. Left leg is hurting. Right leg is getting attacked by John Jones, so. Oh man, just got out of the way of that back fist. See, that prevents him from exploding in with these punches. John just checking that with the oblique kick, keeping him at bay so well with it. 90 seconds in the round, Santos moving gingerly. Surprised when he's in that southpaw stance that we don't see John try to attack that side with a right kick. He's so sneaky with his kicks. Look how low the hands are, too. If he could just faint low, come right up, boom. John's just constantly switching up the looks he gives him. Waiting for Santos. Oh, nice inside leg kick by Santos. Nice land of the body by Jones. Oh, that's way the high. There it is. And a Superman punch from John Jones. Santos backs away. Goodness. That's hard to watch, shit. man. Yeah. Jones still moving exceedingly well despite all those inside leg kicks from Santos. Well, Santos may need a wheelchair after this fight, but. He is very much in it through 20 minutes. To the surprise of many. Come on. Which, relax which one? How you feel? Last round. No. Which one? How you feel? Last round. Stay hunting. Stay hunting. Stay hunting. Stay hunting. Stay hunting, and then bring something up middle. So on body shots, leg shots, then look low, go high. You got it? Look sure. low, go high. That's it. Hey, it's the last round, so hands up, but keep some good pressure on them, okay? Sure. See what we can do in there. We got five minutes. We've been doing five minutes all week, all day, all year. Five check minutes, okay? Check He's hurt. He's hurt checking leg kicks already. Break him down. <laughs> Yeah, you can see his leg buckle here. Absolutely having a problem with that. You can see it here. Look at it, see how it pops out? That oh. looks like a torn ACL. Coming from somebody who's had two of them. <laughs> but this guy is not giving any indication. Fifth and final round for the UFC light heavyweight title. John Jones, Tiago Mejeta Santos. Beautiful body kick on a torn ACL. Well, it could be entirely torn before he got here. Many guys fight with torn ACLs. He, he stunned them there. Yeah, that's... <laughs> you can't count this guy out till the, till the bell is finally rung because he's still throwing big power, even on a, a clearly damaged knee. Little foot stomp there from Jones for good measure. Bone on bone collision. There it is again, an inside leg kick. Thiago knows this is his last round, his last chance. He's going for it. Nice 
I am no judge. Conceivably, though, it could be 2-2 here. The rounds three and four likely belong to John Jones, but Mahetta got off to a great start. We've seen way worse decisions. Right. That salient point. I just wonder how bad they are. I wonder what differences we would see out of Tiago tonight if that knee wasn't injured early. Oh! 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 My goodness. And John absorbs it like a sponge. Oh, good body kick. Yeah, he faked Again. him up top and went to the body there. That was a very good body kick. So Santos has landed some strikes of significance here. Two minutes into round five. He's still very dangerous. Very dangerous. That side kick to the thigh is so effective for John. Oh, went to the body there with that one. Perfect. He checked that one. He caught that one on the knee. But he doesn't stop throwing. I mean, you see a lot of athletes, they throw inside kicks, get checked like that. And they'll stop throwing it in the fight. Oh, oh there it goes again. Still throwing kicks. Amazing. Oh, but this is about as bad as it has been for Santos. Pain starting to kick in. It's an instability issue, John. I don't even think he's recognizing it as pain. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's just, it, it gives out. Yeah, it just buckles. It's why it's better off throwing the left kick. Because he doesn't have to he's pivot off the knee. It. Yeah. yeah. It's when he's throwing the right kick that it really becomes an issue, or when he's moving side to side and has to adjust on the fly. Jones continuing to be the advancing party here late, coming up on 90 seconds to the side. The UFC Light Heavyweight Championship. How amazing it is that this fight has never been to the ground. Right. Yeah. We talked about that. I said that, John, when we talked to him this week, was like, yeah, I might just, you know, go where he feels best and right. beat him there. Right. The problem is this. He's... In this round, Tiago Santos is the one who's got off the big shots. Right. Yeah. The judges could very easily be giving him this round. And this could be the deciding round in a championship fight. I'm not saying that's my opinion, but I'm saying in a crazy world, sure. the world of MMA judging, this is a dangerous game with less than a minute to go. And you see all unofficial numbers there in terms of the round five significant strikes. Jones with the advantage, but uh, Santos has certainly had his moments late. Maybe the advantage in numbers, but not an impact. Right. The ones that Tiago's landed were the bigger shots. But just also the physicality and the control of John is things that they'll be considering, hopefully, or at least should be. Yes. So, no, I agree. Yeah. Man, have these fans been spoiled tonight? If there's reason to boo right now. Final 10 seconds. Yeah. I don't know what you could be booing. It's been a great championship fight. They want a gunfight. <laughs> so John Jones and Tiago Santos go the distance. And what a tremendous moment there between two truly elite mixed martial artists. Whole lot of mutual respect there. And... Going to be interesting to hear Tiago Santos after the fact talk about the extent to which he was compromised with that left leg. This fight replay brought to you by Nemiroff, bold character since 1872. So here we go, early on, low kicks for Tiago that were very effective. And there was the one that buckled his knee. The way he reacted... You could tell there was something wrong with the knee, but we really don't know if that's something he came into the octagon with. I know of at least one fighter that's currently fighting in the UFC that has a torn ACL. A fully torn ACL and still competes with it. So wow. people do do it. Right. They have done it. Rico Rodriguez fought for years with a torn ACL. 
And there you see that inside leg kick. Yeah, I mean, Santos was trading some leg kicks, but, yeah, but just when he would get a good kick going, it boom, yeah. his leg would completely buckle out from underneath of him. Jones but with all the pressure. Never stopped his attack. No, not at all. I mean, <laughs> still smiling. Torn ACL, potentially. All right, some numbers. Significant head strikes, 17 to 11 for John. Excuse me, for Tiago Santos. Body strikes and leg strikes. Advantage for the champion, John Bones Jones. All right, the official decision is brought to you by Metro by T-Mobile. Catch all the action with Metro by T-Mobile and never miss a knockout with their reliable network and unlimited data. All right, one final time tonight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Junichiro Camillo scores the contest. 48-47, Santos. Derek Cleary scores the contest. 48-47, Jones. And Mike Bell scores it. 48-47 for the winner. And still the undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, John. he tough. Hey guys, I am, I am so sorry. I know a lot of you guys are booing me right now. Hey, I, uh, Tiago, we all know his best chances of winning this fight was to win by knockout. I played it smart and I brought home this gold for my family and my team. So God be the glory. There's no reason to be sorry. That was an excellent fight. Coming into this fight, you knew that he was a wild man. You knew that he was going to throw these wild punches. Was there anything surprising? Hey, uh, he, he was just he was just technically a lot more sound than I thought. Hey, guys, Tiago Santos is a black belt in Muay Thai. You know what I mean? So I'm proud of myself, actually. I stood and fought with a guy who's been kickboxing way longer than me. That's the question. Why didn't you try to take him down? Um, you know, I just, I felt like I was winning, you know? It was like, you know, there's, there's no need to go for a shot. We were playing a very high-level chess match in there. And, uh, I mean, I think he made me look back. I got to go back and watch the fight for myself. Um, but anytime you out kickbox a guy who's a black belt Muay Thai, you shouldn't hold your head down. The leg kicks, particularly the low calf kicks, how much of a problem was that early on? Oh, man, they hurt. They definitely hurt pretty bad. Uh, he implemented a game plan that I think a lot of people wanted to for a long time. He did a really good job. He uh, exploited a hole in my game, and that's something that won't be the next time. Well, John, you continue to reign as the most dominant light heavyweight of all time. You are the winner, and still, congratulations, sir. Hey, guys, shout out to my team. Uh, I got my little brother, Chandler Jones, one of the best defensive ends in the league. Mike Wiggle John, Roberto Allen Carr, Brandon Gibson. My dad, Arthur Jones, Pastor Arthur Jones. His, his wrestling coach, Coach Frank Barada. Without this guy here, I would have never joined the wrestling team. Uh, coach Izzy and the Greg Jackson. I love you guys so much, guys. I'm not sure if you guys, are, I think you guys are proud of me, but I will do better next time, I promise. I love you guys so much. This is our 14th world title, and it's coming back to Albuquerque, New Mexico. The champion of the world, ladies and gentlemen, John Jones. I'm here with Tiago Santos. First of all, Tiago, it was an excellent performance, a very tough fight for you. It seemed like early on, maybe in the first round, your left leg gave out. Was that a pre-existing injury or did it happen during the fight? Excelente performance, a luta muito dura. Parece que no primeiro round a sua a perna esquerda saiu. O que que aconteceu? É, no primeiro round ali o meu joelho, é, é, eu não sei, falseou e logo no primeiro round machucou. E aí eu não consegui mais me movimentar muito bem. Tava toda hora saindo do lugar. Não sei o que aconteceu, a gente vai ter que ver aí, mas Sem choro, sem lamentação, é, eu estou feliz. Só tenho a agradecer a Deus, ao UFC pela oportunidade, ao, ao Jones é, pela oportunidade por ter aceitado lutar comigo. É um cara que eu assisto há muito tempo lutar, é um guerreiro, sou fã. E 
só tenho a agradecer, cara, o UFC, Dano White, o Mickey, é, o Mickey, pela oportunidade, a galera do FCPI, e, pô, que me atendem muito bem desde sempre, não só agora pela luta de cinturão, mas sempre me atenderam muito bem. Só tenho a agradecer, cara, não tem desculpa pra dar, tô feliz, saí na porrada, que é, que é o que eu gosto de fazer, e é isso aí. Obrigado ao público que, que veio assistir. Alex, você tem that? Well, yeah, in the beginning of the first round, I, something went out. My knee seemed to go out. I couldn't move very well anymore. But I don't want, there's no whining about it. It is what it is. I want to thank everybody. I'm thank, thankful to be here. Thank the UFC to have me here. Thank John Jones for accepting to fight me. I thank my camp. I thank everybody. I thank the PI, everybody to be here. I thank God. Well, Tiago, this was a very close fight. In fact, you won on one judge's scorecard. Was there anything surprising about this contest? Teve até um juiz te deu a vitória. Teve alguma surpresa nessa luta? Não, é isso. A gente fez um bom camp. Tenho agradecer a minha equipe, a TFT, a American Top Team, Aldem, Cona, Palpinha, Catel, Macarrão, a galera toda aí. Porra, mestre Felipe Lima, ao meu empresário Alex Davis. Eu sou, eu sou só gratidão. Agradecer a todos. É, vocês é, mudaram a vida de um menino da Cidade de Deus, chegar aqui onde eu cheguei, é, já é um grande feito. Então, sem choro, sem lamentações, só gratidão a todos aí pela oportunidade pela ajuda. No, I'm just thankful. I want to thank everybody. I want to thank TFT. I want to thank American Top Team, Dan Lambert, Cattell, Macahon, all my team. You know, this is a chance given to a very poor boy from the city of God, and I'm very thankful for the opportunity. Thank you, Tiago, for an excellent fight. Tiago Santos, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, so... Tiago's going to have help getting out of here, but so did the champ. John Jones was banged up. That calf kick was definitely effective. You see him here getting helped out back to the locker rooms. Both guys are going to be hurting. And John Jones needing more help than Tiago Santos, who appears to be making his way down the stairs right now. John Jones was extended tonight. No one has beaten John Jones on the scorecards before or a scorecard before. Tiago Santos did that, and I think there's a lot of people out there think he did enough to win the fight tonight. Well, it was certainly close, and we were alluding to that in the last round. I don't think it was a bad decision, but we were saying, hey, this is a fairly close fight, and it's very subjective, depending on how you look at what was done. I mean, you see John walk out of there severely compromised. Now you have to ask the question, what if Tiago pivoted on that kick? What if he didn't absorb it on his knee? What if it didn't blow out? How much different would this fight be if Thiago had two knees? I mean, he won the fight on one judge's scorecard right. with a bad knee. It's well, a crazy every, fight. Right. And everything we hope to get out of Thiago Santos tonight as John Jones' challenger, we got him and some. His stock and goes some. through the ceiling. And some. And some. Because he fought technical. Yeah. He didn't just fight wild, which we knew he could. He certainly did fight wild. But he also fought technical. He set a lot of things up. He threw some off-speed things and some very fast thigh kicks and, uh, and, and calf kicks that I think really caught John off guard. I think that switching of this, like he would throw kicks where he, I, it looked like he didn't expect to land them, and then he would pause, whack, and then the other ones would come in very fast. Right. And he did a lot of good work with combinations of punches. He caught John with some big shots. To John's credit, he has an amazing chin, and he moved away as he was getting hit, which he is very good at doing. But it was a good fight.